Okay, hello. I'm going to have um, spinach with blue cheese on top of it. This is raw organic spinach, baby spinach. With blue cheese on top of it and macaroni and cheese and then I put tuna in it. I mix tuna in with my macaroni and cheese. See the blue cheese on the spinach? Mm. You can make another one. There's another one in there. Mm. You don't like spinach with blue cheese. You can have you some spinach with some Italian on it or whatever kind you like. I know I can have anything in there. I bought it. I know. Go ahead and eat it. You just acted like you wanted me to cook it. Got mad because I didn't make you spinach. You won't eat it like this. I've never seen no, you eat spinach I just, raw. I didn't want anything. I didn't want a marble lasagna. Well, honey, 31 year old Jenna, get up and go make you some more. Don't offer to make me anything. Okay. Okay. Get Make you some more. There's no more to make. I don't want a big one. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to eat what I ate. Make the big one and I'll eat the other half. You can take the other half to work. No, I can't eat any more. Okay. So you're full? No, I'm not full. Okay, well then I make the other one or stop complaining. I can't eat it anymore. I'm mm -hmm. Stop. Oh, I'm, well, I'm sorry. Well, then it's a good thing that I guess it was a broke thing. I guess it's a good thing it was, Burner. You ended up eating more. and you. So you burned it on purpose? No, of course I didn't. Of course I didn't burn that on purpose. That's weird. It didn't even look burnt to me. I cooked it the amount of time it said cook it. Well, it looked like you ate it all except that one little flip. Right, but can you cut that part? No, but I didn't do that on purpose. Okay, but since good. you said that you can't eat and it's hurting your stomach, maybe it's a good thing it was burnt. Well, I have to eat. But I, I don't make another one then. Again, honey, you're 31 years old. Make you another and one. you're 49. I'm 48. 48. And yeah. I've been taking care of you for a year now. <laughs> Big deal. I took care of you when you was a kid. Right, because you were my and mother. And a teenager. Because you were my mother. Yeah. Children aren't indebted to their parents their whole life. Parents aren't either. Parents aren't either. You've not paid my way. I've paid my way since I was 18 years old. There's been things that I've paid your way. Down payment on a car and stuff like that. Yes, ma'am. Who, who? I pay your insurance on your car. And people help people from their family. I've overpaid anything you've ever done for me. I've said you've done some things for I've me, but don't say that I've never done anything for you. <laughs> it's just not true. I've overpaid you back. For I didn't want you to pay me back. I'm just saying that's what family does. Not endlessly. Nobody endlessly does anything. I shouldn't have to endlessly pay the rent, but I pay the rent too, don't I? I pay all the rent and I pay all the electric. Am I right? You do. Okay. But I pay everything. Look, calm else. down. Calm down. And I you just now started paying everything else. I paid all the other bills too, up until this month. Remember, all the other household bills I paid too until this you month. You never paid the cell phone bill. I paid the water, the electric, the phone, the internet, and the rent up until this month. And I've paid the, right, you the paid insurance too. and the cell phone. Right. And any and anything extra that's needed. Right. Paid, all the vet bills I paid. Mm -hmm. No, all of them. I paid mine too. About 80% of them I paid. Oh, no. I had money and I paid all my vet bills when I was paying. Chucking out money to uh, boost bra like left and right. Most certainly did. And now I don't have any. But I still pay the rent and the and the Electric. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ask T to decap. Uh. <clears throat> Macaroni and cheese with tuna. I'm eating a big spoon because I don't want to 
I don't want to have to wash another spoon, so. I may have put too much blue cheese on this. If you're not happy with it, go we'll get you another one. I bought the spinach and the blue cheese. I am happy with it. I supply you with your food, so it's not any. No, that's not true you. either. It's not any expense to you to go get another serving. You don't supply me with my food. I buy food too. How so? Up until this month, I bought a ton of food, about a hundred dollars a day. Not for me. I've always bought my own groceries since I was eighteen years old. You've not bought all your groceries. I bought stuff for the household all my life. All my life. And I bought Call and ask if you need I stuff too. I bought my share all the time. Since, and, I, was, since uh, I was 18 You bought old. stuff. We all bought stuff. Everybody's bought stuff. You're not, you're, you're not the only one. No you're not. I have up until last week I had it. Two weeks ago. When I was buying left and right. Not for me. I oh, yeah. I called to see if anybody did anything. Everybody tell me. I get it. Yeah. The same way I've done for you. Yeah. You always ex over, over extend with a, the gesture. I always get what it. That's just part of life. I ask you what you need, and you tell me $50 worth of stuff. You mm -hmm. ask me what I need, and I say $5 worth of stuff. Well, when I ask somebody, I really want to know what they need. Well, from here on out, I'm not going to ask you. I guess you'll just have to find a way to do that. When I ask somebody what they want, I really want to know what they want. I can see Stingy Jenna didn't didn't really want to know what you want. No, that's not true. I've always gotten you what so you you're, want. You're just, well, apparently you're upset like, about that. Just like the other night when I had to go to the emergency room, mm -hmm. and you said, I, I can't go because I need fried chicken. That I didn't say it like that Pissed me out the whole time mm -hmm. because you couldn't get fried chicken that mm -hmm. night. It's so weird. I've never mm -hmm. been there. Again, I said I was sorry and it didn't come out right. For two hours it didn't come out right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It wasn't two hours. It was two hours. I was even mostly talking we, about that. Even when we were oh. sitting in the ER, you were complaining that, that you doctor, didn't fried chicken. I think I saw that doctor, that Jabok, Jaboki. Does he have a gray beard and gray head? Gray mustache, like no, scruffy. Black, black oh, you know, they had somebody over there the other day. We were looking at a desk set up in their office. I don't know who that was. Behind Amy, it was weird. Real weird. He looked like a loser, too. Well, I guess he was right because apparently I needed to be on an interview. Right. What was his name? Jabur? Dr. Jabour. Was I see you a text message that you can refer to that. I can't do it right now. I want to look it up real quick. Jabour MD. From Hazard. I didn't even know Hazard had a hospital, too. I don't know anything about him. You've never had tuna with macaroni and cheese. You're missing something. It's got to be the tuna with the oil in it. Sunflower oil or something. You have high triglycerides. I don't know if that's a good idea for you to be eating oil and cheese. And? I can't go to the ER with you again on the pancreatitis. It's not a good idea for me to be eating anything. <laughs> I, all I know is I was told that I can't get sick. So, 
I definitely can't. Right, I can't either, I'll bet. I definitely can't take you to the ER. Pancreatitis over something like that. I can't get sick either because I don't have a spleen. Yeah, I know. (laughs) And every time I go to the ER, I've told you not to go take it. Not to go with me, maybe, because I always drive myself. But I did anyway, because I want to. You're my daughter, and that's what people do. Well, I can't go with you because I will die. I'm not going to have to go. And pancreatitis, you can try to prevent that with your diet. Mm. There's um, consistent people always wanting to paint their walls gray. I'm sorry. It looks drab and ugly to me. On TV right now, they're watching the, showing this house. It's got a real, I mean, I wish we hadn't painted this gray. It used to be a nice, pretty, but light, very light blue. You helped pick out this color. No, I didn't. I don't like gray. Yes, I've never did. liked gray. We I wanted said, to keep it the way it was. We sat in Lowe's for an hour. And right, but you I all like insisted on gray. Yeah. You said, I like this color. I swear to God. I, I like the color that we had. Shh, be quiet. Let's calm down. Did, we, did I not say I like the color we had it? You no, said you said no. I'm tired of this baby. No, I love like the blue. I love. No, you all said it was like nursery. I have never said that baby blue. It wasn't baby blue. It was barely blue. Barely blue or barely you green is good. You were tired of that color Mm-mm. and you wanted to change. Or I didn't. Yes, you did. I swear to God. Josie kept saying I, she wanted it gray, I swear gray, gray. To God you I said hate that. gray. And we were in love gray is the life. most depressing. If you want to have a depressing home, we are not repainting this house. On the out, I don't want to repaint it. But if you want to have a depressing home, you'll go with the trend and paint it gray on the inside or the out. Either way, it's going to be very depressing. Gray is very ugly color. If I had known that, I wouldn't have paid three hundred dollars. Even if it's barely gray. This. I wouldn't have paid three hundred dollars worth of paint and supplies. Well, that was years ago. It's been this color for several years. Yeah, I wouldn't have done it. I was the one that bought the paint, and I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't painted the color. I'm sure I had something to do with it too. You picked um, up the color. No, I'm you sure I, I paid like something this. too. You said I like this color. That's what you said. I just went along with you all, just like I did with Josie on that floor in there. That was the worst mistake we ever did. She has zero. Thoughts on floor. That's the ugliest your floor. I know personality, and you don't just go along with anybody. That is the ugliest floor. Yes, I did. No, you don't. Yeah, I most certainly did. I wanted the white floor over there. You don't remember? That's the ugliest floor I've ever seen you in my life. You never just go along with yes, anything anybody says. Anyway, don't paint your house gray. Even if you think it looks good before... Believe me, you'll change your mind. It's ugly. Gray is the ugliest color. And it's a trend right now. That color on that wall on this house is so ugly. It's the same color as this. There are uglier colors. Mm. Well, yeah. Like neon green would be really bad. Sand is an ugly color. Sand is ugly, but it's not as depressing as gray. Gray is very bad. Sand looks like a smoker's house. So don't paint it gray or sand. Sand, sand looks like a smoker's house. It's just so ugly. At least it doesn't look like a smoker's house. Mm-hmm. It's not a smoker's house. Nobody smokes in this house. I know, but beige always looks like a smoker's house. Always. Mm-hmm. So you can see I ate most of the most of the finch. But gray is a trend right now that's really bad. And even their other parts of their house, they want it. Like, I don't know what that's called. When it's just black, gray, and white, it's called something. Monochromatic. I hate it. Or grayscale. Well, I think it's grayscale because monochromatic can be beiges or anything. It's just so drab and so ugly. Hmm. I don't know why anyone would want a black cabinet in a tiny house. No, neither. That's so ugly. A tiny house, you need white. Yes, I'm licking the spoon. This is good. Mm.
I don't like that green back there in that bedroom either. When she was here, I liked it, but for some reason, it looks different, doesn't it? I've never liked that color green, but I don't care. I like a lighter green. I really don't care about wall color. That's the least of my concern. I like the color of my bedroom. I like that. Wall color is absolutely the least of my concerns. Only two, but so. while I'm sitting here eating and doing a mug mug, I'm going to talk about something frivolous. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's, it's like they're in that movie, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. So they want to live that life. Everything's either gray, beige, or black. I'm speaking about these people on this show. It's over. That looks like a mess. Yeah. That's me. Uh, if you're not going to get rid of a bunch of your stuff, you shouldn't live in a tiny house. Right. That's for people that don't have a lot of stuff. Mm. They like stuff. You can tell they like stuff. <laughs> yeah. How can I tell? Because I got a big bunch of clothes. Yeah, that's all they got. Oh, they got one little bitty tiny sink. That that would not work for me. <clears throat> that house is a lot smaller than the one we got, doesn't it? I wonder how big that is. Six um, by six? I think it was a six eight by, by twelve. Oh my god. Eight by twenty. Mm. It costs probably more than when we got because you know why? Because they wanted all that weird stuff, like the slide out stuff. You know? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's empty. Mm -hmm. Yes. My brother, he's been coming over. He's been walking behind me. He needs to leave. I don't want to watch Meet the Parents again. I've, I've parents seen that probably that. a million times. Yeah. And Robert De Niro makes me sick at liberal ass. Okay, well, that was a good one. See you after a while.